Yo, peeps, what's going on? It's Chesties187 bringing you another match on Underground, but as promised, it is the unexpected Moab that I got. Now, as you can see at the first beginning of this game, I'm going to get my ass killed a lot. I think uh, I, I die about five times before I start going on my roll. And I wasn't expecting it, but I still ran a specialist just for the double XP because when I kill someone, for example, it gives me a lot more XP than it normally would. And uh, I don't know, i just been kind of wanting to rush. I am now 6 prestige already, um, so I've been trying to rip through them fairly well. Uh, so anyways, I didn't get B, unfortunately, um, you know, usually I end up getting A and B, uh, and those are the flags that we hold throughout the match, um, but at the first beginning of this, uh, it just did not go my, my way, um, but you guys know me, I don't usually back out or anything, I do play with a squad, um, so, or a team or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, and, uh, this is recorded out of my, uh, theater, theater vault or whatever you want to call. So you will notice a little bit of lag, but it's really not that bad. Um, so what I'm going to try to do this video is I'm going to try to, try to, um, I'm going to try to make it as live as possible. Now, this is not a live commentary, but I'm going to try to you know tell you guys what was going through my head and why I did some of the things I did uh, to get the Moab and uh, I hope that uh, somehow it will help you if uh, you are having problems with mobs or you know whatever else um, so don't mind uh, these deaths I will tell you when I am going to be on my little streak and uh you know when i ended up getting my specialist it was it was uh unexpected and i wanted to keep my specialist um so i took it very easy you know i didn't i did i wasn't camping but I, i'll tell you what was going through my head and why i did the things i did so i think that was my last death i'm not sure i might still have one more um nope yeah, there we go. That was the spawning though. So I think right here um, was, yeah, right here is where I'm kind of like, all right. So this guy just runs right past me. That guy's a total idiot. I, I can't believe he didn't see me. Now I see them on the other side of this, of the stairs there. So I know that they're spawning around C and in the construction or in that, in that room uh between a and c now that's a huge spawning point same with underneath the tunnel and uh my whoever has the uav up and uh, i could see them all so right here you know they're all coming up here so i'm like why would i run forward if they're all running up the stairs because then i'm just going to get killed right so anyways i'm a little bit red there so i just ducked down i did get my specialist right there and then i pick up this guy's gun because i was out of animal on my other gun and as you can see they're still trying to run up the stairs so i'm just picking them off and i see this guy running around so i kill him and then as you can see now i'm a little bit confused because my team mate just ran forward and he's still alive but I still see they're red I still see that they're spawning in the construction room so I'm debating right now if I should follow my teammate or if I should just continue staying there and uh, as you can see here I'm a, I'm a little confused I, I don't know if I should run forward or not Anyways, I see that they just captured the A flag so that means that they're mostly gonna spawn underneath the tunnel and um, my team is all over this spawn now, so they will not spawn there. But Modern Warfare 3, um, you can pretty much expect them to spawn anywhere. So I put my motion sensor on that little uh, little um, scanner or whatever, and then I go run in the tunnel quickly and just pick off the one. Now I see this guy, 
he he uh, he goes down into second chance. The helicopter steals my kill from me, so I'm a little bit pissed off. So uh, I know that this is one of their spawns, so I like going in there. But this guy just ran away from me, so I noticed that I better run because they're gonna have the advantage on me. And then I just flip around and head glitch the stair and make sure that. When they come in to say hi, I will have the drop on them before they have the drop on me. And uh, right here, I seen people on the radar coming down those stairs, but then I just seen my teammate run up there. And right here, instead of running out the door like I normally would, uh, there's usually somebody head glitching where I'm pointing right now. And uh, they will have the drop on you once you come out that door. So what I did there is I went around. So it would be more of a fair. It would be like me head glitching kind of. Um, just to make sure that if there was somebody there I could pick them off quickly. Um, now the radar here is really helping me out. I noticed that this guy over here just called in his care package. So I kill him. And then I run back because I, they usually will spawn there if you run out of there. So... I, I right here I'm like I I'm kind of a dick because I steal this guy's care package and uh, and uh, I don't know and I don't even use it <laughs> so his kill streak uh, was just given to me so thank you whoever did that and I should have threw it up for the XP but I didn't so right here I know that they're running to C so I'm trying to pick that guy off, but he lays down, so it's a little bit difficult. Right now I'm debating if I should run around that or not, so I don't. I see him get back up, and I shoot him. Um, now they're going to grab C. I'm going to run away from C right now because I know that they're all going to spawn there. And if I go over there to try to be a hero, I'm going to end up getting killed when I, you know, I run into six, seven, eight, or nine people. Uh, I think this is ground war, so there is nine and uh, if they're only holding one flag, then usually they're spawning by it. So I didn't want to be a hero and run into nine people. So this guy picked up off the radar. Um, thank God that not very many people were using Assassin. Now I all know that they're, they're spawning underneath the tunnel. So I'm, I'm curious if they're going to run out of this door. And like this guy does. And uh, I think there's one more that ends up coming, but... They try to run out that door quite often. If I run up the stairs a little bit, that's another good place to pick them off. Um, now I see this guy, and I get all confused. I think he's looking for me because he goes in and out, and then I'm running in and out. So I'm trying to trick him. I'm trying to find this guy that, that, that I just did circles on. So right here, as you can see, I'm pretty unsuccessful. So... Right here I get lucky because this guy's trying to quick scope, but I end up getting the assist on him. So, you know, thank God my team just saved my ass there. Um, quick scopers are the ones to be careful of because, you know, it's one shot, one hit, and that guy could have killed me. Now, I knew I was close to my Moab, so I wasn't sure what to do, but as you can see, the score was 188 and uh, I was I wanted to get it but I didn't know how close I was so I took that clutch time and um, you know I took the chance and got a, two lucky kills to get the Moab so that's what happened and uh, I hope you guys enjoy and I don't die for the rest of the match but uh, right now I just kinda wanted to beat my streak but uh, I end up running out and the time is done and I don't get any more kills. So anyways, that was my Moab for Underground. Uh, you know, it wasn't the best entertaining Moab, but, um, you know, I'm trying to tell you what was going through my mind at that time. And maybe uh, in the short long run, I should try to get live Moabs where I'm talking while I play. That might be a great idea. So 31 and 5, so hope you guys enjoy, and until next time, peace.